Welcome to the DOS Geek channel. Now at the end of every video, I have a slogan, fill your brains. Now that's not just a slogan, it is a call to action. I truly believe that education is the answer to many of the world's problems out there. Now there are a lot of companies that are out there trying to get your money and try to sell you certificates. And we're going to talk about which ones are actually worthwhile for you to take a look at. Now, I can only go through the ones that have made it across my radar. There are many of them out there. So I invite you to leave in the comments below if you don't work for one of these companies. Be suspicious if people are a little overly joyous about some of this stuff. But if you found some success in getting a job or helping enhance a job skill, uh, utilizing one of these online programs, maybe one of the ones that I cover or I don't cover, please let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to this video. But what we're going to do is we're gonna talk about the ones that I think do add value. And I'm coming at that from somebody with 21 years in the technology industry, and somebody who's hired hundreds of people over these 21 years. And so the things that I would look at in a resume that would impress me, or when we talk about certificates like this, depending on the kind of program that you go for, perhaps some of the things that will help you answer questions in an interview because you've taken these courses that would help you land a job. Now, I think an interview, 90% of it is your personality, that aurora, that energy that you bring into the room. And a lot of that has to do with confidence. And if you're walking into an interview and have no idea what you're talking about, you just applied for the job because you really need a job, it kind of shows. You can really feel it off, especially if you've been interviewing for a long time. You can really start feeling the people who just kind of hit apply for everything and hope they got an interview and those who were really focusing on a specific job that they really wanted. And as an interviewer, you're really looking for that person that has that passion. And some of the ways that taking courses like this can help you in those types of interviews and help you have that energy is you're going to be getting certifications from, in some cases, prominent universities out there like Harvard, Columbia, Michigan State and others that are going to not only look good on your resume, but some of the skills, if you've really focused on that class and you've taken it serious, will help you to be able to answer the questions in the interview and show that you're a true rock star. Now, I wanna give you an example before we get into some of these classes, just real quick, of a way that these type of things can help you. So you've probably heard one of the interview questions or a variation like this that asks, what have you done to prepare up to this point for this interview for this job or tell me how you stay current in your field and these are questions that a lot of people get stumped on because they're like well I, I work in it every day that's how I stay current or they'll say I do online research or I sign up for newsletters and those aren't terrible answers but they're not really any different than the ones you get a lot of the time so the only differentiator is maybe how people spin that into something positive with the energy. But if you've actually shown a pattern of, well, you can see this line of certifications that I continue to get within the industry to make sure that I'm really honing my skills every all throughout the year and all throughout my career. And I constantly go to edX or course era and trying to see the latest things and ways that I can apply it to my current job. That certainly is going to show a lot more ambition than the person who's just saying, well, I do newsletters and things because I have no way to prove that they actually do that. For all I know, they're just surfing YouTube all day. So I think there are definitely some things that this can do to help you to land a job, to help you have the confidence to answer interview questions. Now, I will tell you straight out that a lot of companies now, one of the only ways they can really filter through the thousands of resumes and things is basically saying you have to have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and those type of things. But if you're in a heavy technology field like system administrator and things like that, they're going to more focus on those certifications that you have. I wouldn't say I would use edX or Coursera or any of these as your primary certification on your resume, but they certainly can enhance it and show that you're somebody to be taken seriously. So now let's take a look at these individual programs and see which ones that I've used and I've liked. And then I invite you to do the same in the comments. Let me know which ones you've liked that have helped you maybe land a job or learn a new skill set. Now, one of my personal favorites and the one I'm going to start with here is edX. 
Why I love edX is number one, there are a ton of major universities that put their courses out here online. So when you do get a certificate, you actually have something that you could be proud of that might catch the attention of the interviewer. And here you can see in some of the popular subjects that there is a wide variety of subjects for you to learn from. And in addition, if you are very limited on time, you also have apps for your iPads, for your Android devices, for your phones. So you can pretty much take these courses anywhere. Now you can see that we have everything from business management, engineering, humanities, data science, language, computer science, and there's so much more in here as well. So if you have a subject that you're wanting to learn, edX has a very nice net cast uh, out there of all the different options that you can go and enhance your skills on. So if you wanna learn that programming, I'm telling you this one, Michigan State University has the best program out there. Programming for everybody getting started is just fantastic. Charles Severance, amazing, amazing instructor. Personally took this course among with several others and you could see the cost here is very low, $49. So that's why I want to cover these things, because if you were to go and try to get an actual certification from even a local college, you're going to be paying hundreds, if not thousands of dollars And here. You can get a certificate for 49 bucks. But here's one of my favorite things about edX is that you can audit the courses, which means you can actually go through the courses. They're not going to give you the questions in the tests but at least allows you to see, do I like the way this instructor is teaching this? Am I getting this before you pay that 49 bucks? And if you don't have money, at least you can go through there and learn some new skills. You not, might not be able to show that interviewer that you have certificates, but at least you will have gained those skills so that you can talk intelligently about the subject matter, which may help you in itself. This is an example of some of the quizzes and things that they have, or they call knowledge checks that you'll have to go through. And what I like about this for anybody watching this, who's hiring somebody who's taken some of these courses or will hire somebody in the future that the individuals with these labs like here have to download a file and then they have to actually complete and rearrange this file. For instance, this is for pivot tables into a pivot table in order to answer the questions below. So it's actually applied information. It's not something where they can just search for all the answers online. And if you're one of the people who go and put all the answers out there, please stop that because it actually hurts the overall reputation of online courses uh, and things like that. But I like how they do these labs where it's very difficult for you to just do a multiple choice and be able to search for that online and get the answer. You actually have to go through and do the work. So one of my other favorites that I like, and again, it's because it has this vast net of subjects that you can learn is LinkedIn learning. Now, unlike edX, which is completely free uh, and you only pay for the certification, those certifications can range from as little as $49 to as much as a couple hundred dollars in LinkedIn learning. It is a monthly fee. So you can do a one month trial for $29.99 or free trial, and then you get $29.99 a month. Annually, if you want to pay for the year, it's down to $19.99 a month. So you save about 33% according to this. But LinkedIn learning is great because a lot of people are hiring from LinkedIn. They actually find jobs and job recruiters find other people through LinkedIn. And when you're done with one of these programs in LinkedIn, it automatically allows you to add it to your resume in your LinkedIn profile which can help you get somebody's attention who may be looking for someone who's learned that skill set out there. So LinkedIn learning is really nice. I would say that the classes are not as professional and tight as edX can be in some cases, some cases they're just as good. So there's, but there's a little more of that kind of middle of the road slash lower end training that you may find in just a random YouTube channel. And then there are certain courses, again, like I said, that are just equivalent of any of these others. Um, but because it has that mixture and you never know what you're going to get, I would say that it's something you could definitely utilize and leverage. But I, again, prefer edX. Stack Skills is an interesting one. It's been out there for a long time. I know of Stack Skills because they generally are the ones that kind of send this uh, email or you'll see an ad for it like, Master Photoshop. Normally this course costs $1,649. Enroll for 1300 
but then you'll see these specials on different ads and websites where this $1,300 course is now $150. They're just that company that I see a lot of a way too amazing deals on where they'll do 90% off, 99% off and those type of things. But a lot of people really, really like Stack Skills because again, another company that has a wide variety of different courses that you can take and things that you can learn. So I would say, you know, look through these different courses uh, and see if it's something that you would be interested in. I personally have not completed a lot of courses on Stack Skills. You can see that I had purchased some of their bundles that were like $9 and things for Linux shell programming for beginners, learn to code like a pro with VI editor, fundamentals of Unix and Linux system administrator. And I enjoyed these courses, but they were really just kind of somebody going over this information in a book. It wasn't something where I felt like, man, I'm going to leave this and truly understand what this is about or truly have mastered the skill from these courses like I do with edX, depending again on the university and who's doing the training can just make such a big difference. This just seems like they gathered a bunch of people who you know, are in the industry, may not be professional teachers because there is such a difference between somebody who's a professional teacher and instructor and somebody who just knows the subject matter. Linux Academy I wanted to cover because while it doesn't cast a vast net, what they do do, I think, is very valuable. They focus in on really Linux and cloud-based technologies. And I personally do know people where this has helped them to land jobs in the field that they wanted to get into with security and server management. Now, Linux Academy costs around $49 per month. And then if it's paid by the year for personal basic or $4.99 a year for personal plus. So it's very expensive compared to edX and some of the other courses out there, in my opinion. So again, you have to really want to focus in on one of these categories right here to make this worthwhile. Coursera is another very popular choice. It is very similar to edX. A lot of people love this. Again, they collaborate with a lot of different universities here. I've taken several Coursera courses. I, I do see a big range once again in their overall effectiveness of the instructors that they choose depending on the university and things. So again, go out there and sample some of these classes. I think they have some online options joined for free and you could try some things out. Also, if you're working for a company, some of the companies actually reimburse these, like the companies I've worked for reimburse Coursera, edX, and some of these other ones that give you a certificate from a university. So definitely something worth checking out. Coursera, $39 per month. Again, I if, if you can pay that monthly fee, that's great. What I like about edX is you can do a lot more of that going in and just sampling the course before you officially take it. But Coursera has a lot of the same courses, for instance, in Python and things that you'll see in edX. So if you like that monthly thing, because you think you can get a lot of bang for your buck there, knocking out a bunch of courses in 30 days, if you have that time on your hands, it may be better to go the monthly route than paying per certificate. If money is an issue, you don't have that, then edX, I think, is the better bet there. But I actually did a whole video on Code Combat, and it while it doesn't fit in with the rest of these, I want to mention things like Code Combat because I think it's just such a creative way of getting people interested in certain things that may seem boring on the onset. Code Combat allows you to play a video game, essentially, but to control your characters in that game, you have to code, and that helps to kind of make it fun and exciting, and you're still learning at the same time. And this is something that we apply a lot to kids, but we don't really do it a lot with adults. And that's what I like about Code Combat. So I would love to see an online world where we make things more fun instead of that typical instructor standing in front of the class talking, and then some quizzes and things where we make you know, learning to be more engaging and more entertaining because I just think that's the way to get people over that bad feeling they may have had from elementary, middle school, high school, bad experiences in college or whatnot is to try to make learning more fun. And in case you didn't know, this channel is sponsored by DigitalOcean. Now, none of those other companies we covered have given me a cent or sponsored this in any way. I use them on my own. They didn't reach out to me. But DigitalOcean is a sponsor of this channel and actually a great way to get hands on learning, which is an important part of your education process. You actually have to apply what you're learning. 
and DigitalOcean has allowed me to do that in so many ways. It is a cloud service that allows you with a hundred dollar credit, if you go to do.co slash DLN, that allows you to set up quickly different servers for things like Node.js, Python, Go, PHP, Ruby, static sites, Docker. You can do all kinds of things. You wanna learn Linux, this is a great way to do that. They also offer thousands of cloud agnostic tutorials out there. So you can actually go through them step by step and learn how to build a server from scratch. Go to do.co slash DLN that lets them know you came from here and give them some love and sign up and learn some new skills with DigitalOcean. All right, so that about wraps up this video. I think you kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about with these courses. Depending on your budget, edX is my favorite. I really like LinkedIn Learning at $19.99 a month with all the vast subjects they have. And Coursera is also a beautiful option as well. And Linux Academy and things, there are definitely ones that are tailored towards security and tailored towards Linux and different subject matters that may give you a better experience if you're like, this is what I need to learn and all I want to learn. But for me, I find in my career that what is important today may not be what I'm working on tomorrow. So I like something that allows me to have a vast amount of education and courses available to me. Of course, there's YouTube channels like this, which help, but the problem with YouTube is it's not organized. There's no tests and labs and things generally for you to do afterwards. So you have to be a real self-starter and really be searching for that. Whereas these courses put all of that together and organize it for you for a low cost. So I hope you find some value in this video. Hit me up years later from now, if you end up landing a job, or acing an interview because of some of these courses that you've taken, I would love to know about it. But most importantly, I wanna tell you to get out there and fill your brains.